Hi guys and welcome back to the Rare Record Room and a big hello to any new viewers. This is where I share with you some of the records I've collected over the last 40 years or so. These range from 1950s rock and roll right up to the Britpop era of the 1990s. They're mostly United Kingdom pressings on all manner of labels including the big mainstream companies like EMI, RCA and Decca through to the smaller collectible subsidiaries such as Vertigo, DRAM, Blue Horizon, Immediate and EMI's Harvest and Apple labels. I hope you'll find these episodes interesting and informative. If that's the case, why not give us a like and take a look at some of my other record collecting videos. Thank you. In this episode, we'll be looking at another of the R&B outfits, simply called Them, which formed part of the British invasion of the mid-1960s. This particular band came from Belfast, Northern Ireland, and were formed in early 1964 by a talented 18-year-old vocalist named George Ivan Morrison, better known as Van Morrison, and bass player Alan Henderson. The group was relatively short-lived, recording just two studio albums in a two-year period after which Van Morrison embarked on a hugely successful solo career. Them featured a vast number of bandmates during their brief tenure, including many session musicians, with Morrison and Henderson being the only two ever-present members of the group. They were signed to Decca Records and their first LP was titled The Angry Young Them, released in June 1965 which comprised of blues and rhythm and blues covers of the songs by the likes of John Lee Hooker and Jimmy Reed, alongside six original songs written by Van Morrison. Some of these songs had been in the band's repertoire when playing as the house band at Belfast's Maritime Hotel. Standout songs on the Angry Young Them include Bright Lights Big City, the classic Jimmy Reed song, a cautionary tale about urban life. Also among the highlights, were Van Morrison's songs Mystic Eyes, the opening track of the LP, which became a top 40 single in America, and his three chord classic Gloria, which became an archetypal garage rock song, which has been covered by The Doors, ACDC, Jimi Hendrix, David Bowie, Tom Petty, Bruce Springsteen, and many others. The song was included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and received the Grammy Hall of Fame Award. The LP closes with a cover of the rhythm and blues standard Get Your Kicks on Route 66, which the Rolling Stones had recently recorded for their debut LP, also on Decca. Like that Stones LP, the angry young them has a cover photo of the band and displays no group name or album title whatsoever, which was a bold design concept at the time. The angry young them was issued in mono only on the familiar Decca red mono label, initially with the open Decca logo without a box surrounding it and the full frequency range recording text. This pressing dates from 1969 when the label underwent a design change, the company logo now being smaller and set within a box and the FFRR wording has been dropped. The rim text reads made in England, the Decca Record Company Limited. The sleeve is a laminated non flipback type printed by James Upton Limited. Original 1965 pressings came in both flipback and non-flipback sleeves. The inner sleeve on this 69 pressing is the company's pink edged die cut paper sleeve with the large mono wording and a polythene liner. This one has a date code 2-70 to the right hand side meaning it was manufactured in February 1970. Next came Them Again, released just eight months after their debut LP in January 1966. It was a similar blend of Van Morrison original songs and rhythm and blues covers of tracks by the likes of Ray Charles, Fats Domino and Screaming Jay Hawkins. It also includes a superb version of Bob Dylan's song It's All Over Now Baby Blue. It was issued in mono only on the Red Decca label this pressing dates from the 1970s on the boxed red label with the rim text reading Made in England, the Decca Record Company. The sleeve is a non flipback type printed by Robert Stace. The inner sleeve is the company's die cut paper sleeve printed in blue 
uh, and it has a polythene liner. The date code on this is 10-76. The album was released in the US with two fewer songs in April 1966 and the band toured there in May 1966. They had a residency at the Whiskey A Go Go Club in Los Angeles and these shows were opened in the final week by a young upcoming Californian band named The Doors. Then went on to headline at the Fillmore Auditorium in San Francisco before heading to Hawaii where they were beset by internal disputes and arguments and the original band broke up. Morrison concentrated on songwriting and started out on what would become a stellar solo career. He recorded some songs in New York in 1967 including Brown Eyed Girl which was released as a single. In 1968 he released Astral Weeks a mystical song cycle which would become his signature and is now regarded as one of the greatest albums of all time. Van Morrison followed this up with Moon Dance in 1970, being his first million seller. And around this time, possibly riding the wave of his current success, his original label, previous label, Decca, issued the compilation LP The World of Them, which comprised of the songs released between 1964 and 1966, by them including album tracks from The Angry Young Them and Them Again plus the singles Here Comes the Night, Richard Corey and Baby Please Don't Go, a cover of the blues song by Big Joe Williams. Them's recording of this is notable for featuring Andy White on drums. White had been the drummer on both sides of the Beatles debut single Love Me Do in place of Ringo Starr. The rhythm guitar on Baby Please Don't Go was played by Jimmy Page, who would later join the Yardbirds and of course form the stupendous heavy rock pioneers Led Zeppelin. This pressing dates from the late 1970s on the light blue Decca label with the boxed Decca logo and the navy and red trim. And it's housed in a company die cut sleeve with blue text and a polythene liner. That's all for this instalment. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching.